Okay, hello guys. So this is the Oppo M4 Pro, also known as the Redmi Note 11 S 4G. So in this video, I will show you how to root this phone using the custom recovery and also images. Okay, all the files and step I will provide in my blog. You can check in the description box. So stay tuned and check it out. Hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Tom Bob Okay, this time we have a uh, What new Xiaomi phone This is the Poco M4 Pro or it is also known as the Redmi Note 11s 4G okay so in this video I will show you how to root this phone using a custom recovery and magic okay so first thing you need to do is let's check the exciting system you can see right here uh, <coughs> we are using the Mu 12.0.5 on Android 11 okay and it has 256 gigabyte of RAM <clears throat> and it has 8 gigabytes 8 gigabyte of RAM and 256 of internal storage okay so to root this one you need to unlock the pawn using the show me unlock tools and i have waits for seven days okay as as usual <clears throat> to unlock bootloader this one is quite simple just insert your new account and wait for seven days and then unlock using the uh show me me, me unlock tools okay and maybe some of you guys want to know the specs it's quite expensive right here it's still using the MediaTek Helio G96 based on 12 millimeter. Okay. Quite all manufacturing process. And it has a CPU clock between 500 and 2 gigahertz. Okay, just for information, the price in Indonesia is about $350. If in Indonesian money, it's uh, about four millions rupiah. Okay, quite expensive for this kind of one. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Let's go to the fast boot mode as usual. Fast boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down <clears throat> and the power button at the same time. Okay, just keep pressing the two button until you see the fast boot screen. Okay, like this. Put out the pawn and now let's plug the USB cable. And let's switch the screen. In here I already have the Mi Unlock. It's already connected to the Mi account and all I need to do is just hit the unlock button right here. Okay wait for five seconds okay and wipe wait for another five seconds after it finish it will start the process and it will reboot the pawn okay so you need to wait for seven days and here we go now the pawn has been booted but i don't want to wait to the home screen so i will force the pawn to boot it again into the fast boot okay press follow more down <clears throat> and power button again until it goes to the fast boot again okay now we are in the fast boot mode again let's switch the screen 
and minimize this one and let's open the power shell okay <clears throat> first thing we want to do is just check the connection this is our serial number and now let's try to uh, pass the custom recovery okay this is the file and this is the custom recovery okay just open the file find the recovery.mg extract the file okay <clears throat> and then i will rename the file so i will not get confused okay let's rename and now let's open the cmd or powershell okay and now let's try to boot into the custom recovery okay this is the command and i will put all the command and the file in my blog okay you can check the link in the description box if there are any addition additional files or other stuff i'll put it in my blog so check in there Okay, let's first thing we want to do is flash the PB meta. Okay, let's copy. Let's just copy this one. Okay, it's a long comment. Let's copy and paste it in here, and just click and drag the PB meta. Okay, done. Now the next step we need to flash the custom recovery and click and drag the orange box right here and next one we want to boot into the recovery okay there you go now it will automatically automatically reboot into the custom recovery okay and other file we need the original Good image you can see right here this is my firmware okay the floor id global 13.0.5 okay floor is the code name for the poco m4 Pro or the net redmi note 11s 4g after you download the file you extract the file and you will get this folder and go to the image and you will get uh with emg okay just copy the file uh, okay so i already have the file okay now we are in the custom recovery let's copy some file <laughs> let's copy the original boot image into the General storage and uh, okay, let's try again. Okay, now let's copy some file. The first one I want to copy the boot DMG, the original one. And then I'm going to copy the images file. Okay, this is pages 25.2. This is the latest one. Okay, done. And it's always a good idea to pick up the email and baseband, but in this custom recovery, in this version, it's still not included. So if you want to pick up, you can always use the manual way. Okay, this is the command. Okay, so. All you need to do is just open the PowerShell or CMD and run this command. Okay, go to the shell, just type adb shell, hit enter. <clears throat> okay, run this command. This is for making a directory and copy the second one. and it will start to process you can see right here 
it will create the email backup the first one will backup the nfcf key and vdata versus uh, protect uh, and protect you okay and the third command let's copy this one and paste it again in the adb shell okay let's check it will <clears throat> back up the sec tf key and the nvram bin okay so we already got backup you can copy all this file into your computer okay so for the next step is we need to flash the original boot image and flash magic okay let's do the screen okay let's turn on the screen you can see right here i already have the two files so now let's select the boot image select the boot partition and swipe it okay go back again select the magis file and swipe it and for this process i will not recommend you to flash the uh, sorry i mean for this process i will recommend you to just format that the data okay don't wipe the delphi cache and other stuff just format the data if you need to yay and after it finish just okay let's format the data go to the format data tap yes and reboot system okay we'll wait until it goes to the home screen it usually takes time so i will skip this one and we'll continue after it boots into the home screen now we already in the home screen after the android visit okay so let's check the apps you can see right here we already have pages so let's try to upgrade the magis apk okay i already have the apk right here and let's install it open it and if the magis apk try to update you must give it the permission okay usually it will restart the pawn it will require the pawn to restart okay so let's start the pawn if the magis doesn't ask you to restart maybe you can restart manually magis and root checker okay just for checking and here we go now we already have a working root pawn missing images okay let's try to open the root checker and here we go nice okay so from here we can always install model smiley uh fps and other stuff maybe else pose okay you can be creative okay that's all guys this is a tutorial on how to root your om4 pro or the redmi not 11 s 4g the code name is Fleur using custom recovery i hope it helps you and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have lots video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially xiaomi samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum